poem for Nana. What will we do when there is nobody left to kill? 40,000 gallons of oil gushing into the ocean. But I sit on top this mountainside above the Pacific, checking out the flowers, the California poppies, orange, as I meet myself in heat. I'm wondering, where is the Indians? All this film strip territory, all this cowboy saga land, not a single Indian in sight. 40,000 gallons gushing up poison from the deepest seabeds every hour. 40,000 gallons while experts international while new pollutants swallow the unfathomable. Still, no Indians. I'm staring hard around me, past the pinks, the poppies, and the precipice that let me see the wide Pacific, unsuspecting, even trivial, by virtue of its vast surrender. I am a woman searching for her savagery, even if it's doomed. Where are the Indians? Crow nose, little bear, slim girl, black elk, fox belly. The people of the sacred trees and rivers precious to the stars that told old stories to the night. How do we follow after them? Falling snow before the firelight and buffalo as brothers to the man. How do we follow into that? They found her face down where she would be dancing to the shadow drums that humble birds to silent flight. They found her body held, its life dispelled by ice, my life burns to destroy. Aname picked to Aquash, slain on the trail of broken treaties, bullet lodged in her brain, hands and fingertips dismembered who won the only peace that cannot pass from mouth to mouth. And memory should agitate the pierced bone crack of one in pushed back horror, pushed back pain as when I call out looking for my face among the wounded coins to toss about or out entirely the legends of Geronimo of Pocahontas now become a squat pedestrian cement inside the tomb of all my trust. As when I feel you isolate among the hungers of the trees, a trembling hidden tinder so long unsolicited by flame, as when I accept my sister dead when there should be instead a fluid holiness of spirits wrapped around the world redeemed by women whispering communion. I find my way by following your spine. Your heart, indivisible from my real wish, we compel the moon into the evening when you said, no, I will not let go of your hand. Now I am diving for a tide to take me everywhere. Below the soft Pacific spoils, a purple girdling of the globe impregnable. Last year, the South African Minister of Justice described anti-government disturbances as, quote, part of a worldwide trend toward the breakdown of established political and cultural orders, unquote. God knows, I hope he's right.